all right guys uh, what we have here today is a question on intercept or calculation of the intercept and a position line as well as a position through which it passes uh, we'll be using the intercept method uh, with planets as an example so my previous videos have discussed the same using the Sun and the star and today we'll be solving a question using planets uh, Mars as a planet as an example all right so i'll straight away get into the question the question says that is 31st of august 1992 and uh, the dr position or the dead reckoning position is 60 degrees 6 minutes north and 66 degrees 18 minutes west the sextant altitude of mars which is a planet was 41 degrees 32.4 the gmt time is given to you as 8 15 0 2 height of i is 10 meters index error 2.1 minute on the arc and what you have to do is calculate the direction of the position line or what we call as PL as well we can call position line PL as well and a position through which it passes all right so in this case uh, it's slightly easier for the students that the GMT time is given so there is no ambiguity of GMT time that needs to be determined from the chronometer time the GMT time is given but we have to determine the date uh, whether the date at the GMT is the same date as that on the ship all right so when it's uh, 31st August 92 on your ship is it the same date on the GMT as well so how can we do that it's pretty simple write down the GMT time first 8.15.02 then write down the zone in which you are the zone depends on the longitude in time what is longitude in time just divide your longitude by 15 all right your dr long take your dr long and divide it by 15 and what you get is 4.25.12 4 hours 25 minutes and 12 seconds this is your LIT now your LIT determines your zone Alright, so zone is a practical way of timekeeping because we can't have uh, individual time based on our individual longitudes, otherwise all ships will have different times. So our LIT determines the zone, so if it is less than 30 minutes, we will round it off to 4 hours only. If it was more than 30 minutes, uh, if it was 4 hours, 35 minutes or something, we will round it off to 5 hours. So the zone becomes minus 4 because when we are in west longitude, GMT is ahead of us. The time at GMT is more than the time at our local uh, mean time or the ship's time so that's why the zone time or the ship's mean time this can also be called smt or ship's mean time is four hours 15 minutes zero two seconds that's the time on the ship so if that is 31st of august or sorry 31st of august that's right so gmt time will also be 31st because we are only four hours from gmt so we are not too far from gmt we are only four hours so if it's four o'clock in the morning at our ship it's eight o'clock morning and GMT and but it's on the same date so we now we know that is 31st of August 8 15 0 2 so that's the time we'll be using for the rest of the question this time here GMT 31st of August 8 15 0 2 all right and this is a planet question so we we using Mars so using that let's start with the calculation of the LHA now let's find out our GHA first so this GHA is for eight hours so we'll go into the nautical almanac very soon and find out the GHA then this increment is for 15 minutes and 0 2 seconds and then we've got something called v correction so this is a special correction used only for planets so this correction is only for planets and i'll show you where you can get the value from uh, once we go into the almanac so and then uh, we'll figure out the rest all right so let's get into the almanac for 31st of august uh, for mars so this is 31st of august and this is mars here uh, if you can see this is mars here right so if I'm using my red pen here, this is Mars, right? 31st of August is here, right? And we need it for 8 o'clock. So my GMT rate is about 17, 22.6. My declination is 22 degrees, 56.9 minutes north. My V correction is 0 0.8 at the bottom here, below GHA. And my D correction is 0 0.1. And 0 0.1 is positive and my declination seems to be increasing to the next hour from 8 to 9 right so this is some of the information i can gather at one time and then go back and continue with the question so i've got my gha i've got my declination i've got my v correction and i've got my uh, d value as well all right so with that you can see those are the values i've taken now although uh, we have to go into the uh, we have to go into the increments page for 15 minutes and 0 2 seconds to find out what my v correction and my d correction is all right so let's do that as well so 
I'll stop it here. I'm going to 15 minutes and 02 seconds, which should be somewhere here, right? So this is my 15 minutes and 02 seconds. I'll erase the rest so that you guys don't get confused. So, so you can see that uh, this is for planets. So sun and planets are coming under the same column here. So this is my increment 345.5. Then for my V correction 0 0.8 is 0 0.2. All right, and for D correction 0 0.1 is 0. So there's no D correction. All right, and my V correction is 0 0.2. It's under the same column. You can see V or D correction, you get the values from here itself. Alright, so using these values I'll go back. So you can see that's what I've done basically. So there was no D correction. I've got my declination. I've got my V correction as 0 0.2. Uh, this time it's added because the V correction was positive, so I'll add it. Once I add everything, I got 0 0.218.3. Then I've got my longitude. My longitude is west, so my GHA should be the best. That means my long GHA should be more than my LHA. All right, but here you can see my GHA is already less than longitude. So I can, how can I make it more than LHA? So when your longitude is west, you need to subtract from GHA to get your LHA. But if your GHA is a smaller number, how can you make it bigger? So for that, you just add 360 degrees to the degrees. Just add 360, which makes it 381 degrees, 8.3 minutes in this case, right? Just add 360 and make it bigger. So in that way, theoretically, your GHA becomes more than the LHA. All right, so the longitude west remember this rule of thumb gha is best that means gha is more than lha longitude east gha will be least so once you subtract it uh, this is what you get 50.3 so your lha is 314 50.3 and in this case your lha is east so if lha is between 0 to 180 your lha will be west if it is more than 180 to 360 it is on um, east okay so i've named my lha as well i've got my declination here my latitude I just get from the top above what is the latitude given to me 60 degrees 6 .6 minutes north alright so 60 degrees and 06 minutes north is my latitude given to me then I'll start reducing my sextant altitude to get uh, my true altitude and true zenith distance it's an intercept question so uh, intercept will be obtained by calculating the difference between true zenith distance and calculate zenith distance tzd or czd right so I've been given my sextant altitude is given to me in the question 41 degrees 32.4 my index error given to me is 2.1 on the arc in the question itself. If it's on the arc, you will subtract it. If it's off the arc, you will add it. Once I subtract it, my observed altitude is 41 degrees 30.3 minutes. Then I have to find out my height of eye correction for 10 meters of the height of eye. This is also called dip. So I'll go into the dip tables. But before I do that, what I will do is I will also find out what my apparent altitude is once uh, because uh, you guys will do it in stages remember that I am just doing it but one time because uh, it helps me sorry about that it helps me to just go in once into the page and then find out the values alright so sorry I just pressed the wrong button here so what I'll do is I can show you that once I get my dip correction and subtract it dip is always subtracted my apparent altitude is 41.24.7 alright I'll show you where I can get my corrections from or I'll show it to in stages so let's get the dip correction first for 10 meters so for that, I have to go into a nautical almanac page. Uh, so let me show you where the page is. Here it is. All right, so for 10 meters, if I can show it to you, it will be somewhere here. It's 5.6 minus 5.6. All right, so let me go back again. So I've got my minus 5.6 here. So I've got my apparent altitude as 41 degrees, 24.7 minutes. All right, now this planet is Mars. So for this, I also need to apply something called an additional correction depending on the month of the site so the month of the site is 31st of august and i also need to get my total correction from the tables and then i'll apply all these corrections and get my true altitude so let me see where i get it from i go back to the page from where i got my dip correction so you can see the stars and planets are here so for the month of uh, for mars you can see there is an additional correction here this is called addition correction you can see at the top here and this is total correction for apparent altitudes all right so in case you missed it uh, apparent altitude and correction so 41 degrees 24.7 will be somewhere here that is minus 1.1 is the correction and but there is no correction there's no additional correction for mars all right so I'll go back here i can see that my total correction is 1.1 there is no additional correction so once i apply those corrections i get a true altitude of 41 degrees 23.6 minutes all right that's my true altitude i will subtract it from 90 degrees to get my true zenith distance so my true zenith distance is then 48 degrees 36.4.
now I also return the calculated zenith distance of CZD here but how did I get it let me show it to you so this is from this formula here using your scientific calculators now remember TZD CZD is also written in books sometimes as TZX or CZX don't worry it's the same thing all right so let me see show you how to calculate the CZD CZD can be calculated by have assigned tables but I have used the scientific calculator formula here and this is the formula here cos CZD equals uh, cos of LHA times cos of lat times cos of declination plus or minus depending on if your latitude and declination are same names or different names if they are same names you will use the plus sign if they are different names you will use the minus sign what do i mean by same names that is if they are both south and south or they are both north and north and by different names i mean if one is south and the other is north or one is north and the other is south all right so in this case one is both of them are north their declination is north latitude is north so you will use a plus sign that's why i used a plus sign here then put in the values here lj latitude declination then latitude and declination and see the values i've got using my calculator use a cos inverse take the cost from here to here and you will get your czd as 48 degrees 34.3 i've stuck to five decimal places you can use more if you want using that i go back to where i've written my czd here this is my calculated zenith distance czd so i have to make a comparison between 2z tzd and czd so I will subtract it. Once I subtract it, I'll get the answer as 2.1. So always take the smaller number and subtract it from the bigger number. It doesn't matter which one which. But you have to name it either two words or away. And what is the rule for this? The rule for this is if true is tiny, then it's two words. What does that mean? That means if true's any distance is less than C Z X or calculator's any distance, you will write two words. If it is more than calculated zenith distance, you will write away. So in this case, you can see true zenith distance was more than calculated zenith distance. That's why it's away. So you will name it 2.1 minutes away. All right. Once you've done that, you have to now calculate your bearing. How do you do that? You calculate the components of A and B. You can use the noise tables as well, but I am using the scientific calculator. So first calculate A, which is calculated by tan lat divided by tan LHA. Put in the values, you will get 1.73 you will get a negative sign but you ignore the negative sign in the calculator you have to name it opposite to latitude unless LH is between 19 to 70 your LH is not between 19 to 70 it's 31450.3 .3. so you will name it south because it's opposite to latitude latitude was north so you will name it south the second you calculate is B B is calculated as tan declination divided by sine LHA put in the values you will get 0.60 Ignore the negative sign if you get any, and you name it same as declination. Your declination was north, so I named it north. Write down the A and B values here, put the south and north, and the rule is if they are different names, you will subtract them. So you subtract them. If they were same names, you would have added them. Once you subtract them, you get 1.13, and you name it the name of the bigger south in this case. So A was bigger, it was south, so you will name it south. Then you calculate the azimuth. Tan of azimuth equals 1 by C cos lat. That's the formula. Put in the values of C and cos of latitude. Solve the denominator first. And then solve the whole thing. Then do a tan inverse. Take the tan on the other side. You will get 60.6 .6 degrees. What I do normally is, is I round it off to the next number. If it is more than 0.5. If it is less than 0.5, I round it off to the previous number so if it was 60.4 I would have kept it as 60 but I round it off to the next number in this case because it is more than 60.5 why I do that is because when I work with bearings I like the whole numbers because I sometimes I need to plot it on the chart I'll show you what I mean uh, towards the end of the solution so if I have to plot bearings I rather have whole numbers you can also continue with decimal numbers many books they continue with decimal numbers that's fine for academic purposes all right once I got my 61 degrees I have named it south and east how did I name that so south came from the name of C, from the name of C. Whatever your C was, I have named it same, that's south. East has come from LHA. Remember, we named LHA before. I told you if LHA is between 180 and 360, it will be east. So you can see I have named LHA here. That's how I got my east here. So I will name it same as LHA. Once I get south 61 east, that means it's 119 degrees true. Why is that? Because if you think about this, this is south and this is east. 
and you have gone south 61 degrees east so it means you have gone 61 degrees from south or somewhere here 61 degrees this is 180 so this is 090 so this must be somewhere here that is 119 degrees true that's why it's 119 degrees true and then to get your position line just subtract 90 degrees from 119 and then add 90 degrees to 119 you will get 029 and 209 degrees so your position line or your pl is 029 to 209 degrees true your bearing is 119 degrees true now what does all this mean is uh, if you are calculating an intercept position so at your dr lat and dr long you will draw it uh, your intercept remember your intercept was about 2.1 minutes away or something like that it was under 2.1 minutes away right so what does that mean is that uh, at your dr longitude you draw your intercept of 2.1 minutes away a is away for a bearing of 119 so what does that mean is that uh, you don't go towards the bearing of 119 you go away from the bearing of 119 exactly by 180 degrees so you go diametrically opposite to 119 so if this was your 119 you will go opposite to 119 that's about 290 oh sorry 119 plus 180 is uh, 299 so you'll go in a direction of 299 instead of 119 because you have to go away remember this away that's what it means for a distance of 2.1 nautical mile that's your intercept when you stop here and you draw a perpendicular line to your bearing line this perpendicular line which is marked by arrows is in the orientation of 0 to 9 to 209 that's what it means this is the first plot all right i've discussed plotting in the other videos so please watch those videos as to how you can then transfer this position and then plot using a second position line the intersection of two position lines gives you the observe, ship's observed position all right so that's the whole thing behind it because anyway this video was about calculating intercept using planets because planets use a slightly different corrections especially if they are mars and venus so i hope this video helps you thanks for watching and thank you very much to all my subscribers and to all those people who write in their comments and give me feedback really appreciate it thanks guys